Today we'll be making classic cheesy puto and ube cheesy puto. For sure you will love this recipe. So come and join us. And as always, before we cook, we should wash our hands. Now we will add all the ingredients into the mixing bowl. First the flour. Next the sugar. We added the dry ingredients. Now we have to add all the wet ones. First, the water. Next, the evaporated milk. This is 
one tip, guys. Make sure that your put the mixture have no lumps at all. Yeah. You can use a strainer. And it's also one quicker way to remove all the lumps Lump. in the flour. The lumpy bumpy yep. the lumpy. This is hundred percent sure that there will be no any single lump lump left. Okay. Yes, see? Now that is as smooth as butter. Remember all the butter. Even Mickey Mouse likes butter. Just yeah. take the rest of the butter. Now because we want two kinds of food, guys. Do you put it into separate molds? Yes. Because one is the classic cheese puto and the other ube. is the ube cheese. So you'll just basically Divide this mixture into two. One is for the Uber lover. I'm the Uber lover. I'm the cheese lover. Mm. You can share anyway. Okay. Mm. Can I have this one? 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 Girl! Even Mickey Mouse makes me go. So. All you need to do, Aika, is to add your uber flavoring on your mixture. Yeah. But be careful, come here. Yeah. Then, you mix it again. Can I? Then you press on it. Can I try it? I just tried it. Can I try now? Let your queen try it now. Wow. Can I? So oh, oh, delicious. Oh, 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 Okay, that's enough na po. Okay? Um, Let me just quickly. Mm, ube. Yes, that's your ube puto. Now, all we need to do is to transfer this in a this molder. Part? Okay, so now that your puto mixture is ready, all you need to do is transfer it in our puto molder. And I'll show you how. So for Kuya, just scoop oh, out. Go out, Kuya, and then that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't make it overflow. Okay. Okay, Mama. Okay. Yes. Can I do? Can I try it? Can you try your spread, and then later you can exchange. Okay. No need to press anything on it. Sorry. Some I have a job for you. Yes? You just drop one cheese cube on it, but I'll show you how. You have to be very careful. Like this. Come here. Like this. Come here, please. Yeah, we get there. Just like this. Drop one. Okay. What I do? So that when you open it, the cheese will just be oozing from the middle. Okay. It's me. We have a lot of batter. That means we have a lot to share with our friends later. If they come. No, I know they'll come. Wow, this is so cool. This is the best. The cheese dropper. I shall drop the cheese. 
cheese chocolate. And we dropped cheese. Maybe oh. when we um, fold these with the mixture or with the molder, we're gonna get the rest of the cheese. Oh, the cheese in there. No? We're going to start with the cheese. Okay. 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 Especially the Indian ones. I think that can be your last nap, and then let's continue later. Okay? No. Because our skimmer is very hot. Okay. Last cheese of the century. Yeah. Drop your last cheese. This is the one I'm looking for. This one to us in the pure finger. So all our are ready. So we are putting it inside a steamer and if you can see the water is already boiling. So this means it's ready now. So we're putting half the classic puddle and half this then the rest. Yes. Are you doing it in color? Like color I think um, they should come close to me because it's a bit hard reaching out them. So we just need to steam this for like 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. But after 10 minutes, we will try and check what happened. And then we can extend for another 5 more That's minutes. That's like a pattern. Yes. That's the worst mm -hmm. one. Because if it is far left. But because we're using this stainless, this stainless cover, we have to cover it in a clean cloth like this. Why? Do you know why? Because there's a steam, you see? And when we cover this, there is a chance that the water will be dripping into our photo. And we don't want that to happen. It will not be a great puto then. So we have to just do this and then cover it like that. And we'll leave it for how many minutes? Uh, ten. Ten minutes. So we'll see you later, puto. Bye. 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 Enjoy your steam bag. Yay, I'm so excited. Yay, let's see what's inside. Wow, it's the perfect puto, guys. Mommy will just let this cool down. Meantime, be ready in your seat on the dining table. And in like 5 to 10 minutes, Mommy will serve you your yummy cheese ube and yummy classic cheese putos. Guys, you really have to try 
try this recipe. I recommend it. And if you want more recipes like this, don't forget to subscribe.